with Steve Case. Steve, why don't you give us a little bit about your background and tell us your success story. I'm Steve Case. I was born and raised in Hawaii and then uh, started AOL with a couple other guys uh, over 25 years ago. Helped make the internet part of everyday life. That's great. So you have so many things going on. You have Startup America, you have Revolution, you're working in public policy. What is your favorite thing that you have and, and what fuels you? Well, it really to me is all the, it's really the same thing. It's all about entrepreneurship. Great. And so you started so many startups yourself. What advice would you give founders of companies on how they can take their companies to the next level? Well, I think it's three. It's people, passion, and perseverance. And it seems obvious, but, but uh, you know, it's easy to say it's hard to do. Getting the right team in place is really the, you know, the main event. Not, people don't focus enough time on that. But the second is passion. A lot of people jump into things just because they think it's a hot idea. They might be able to make some money, but they don't personally bring a lot of you know, passion to it. I think that's a mistake. You should find things you really you know, you know, fall in love with and really want to you know, spend lots of hours on for lots of years. And so that passion aspect is, is important. And finally, perseverance. Big ideas take time to you know, they don't happen overnight. Our na nation wasn't formed overnight. You know, companies aren't form formed overnight. They're, the big ideas usually are at least a decade in the making. And so taking the long view and, and really having perseverance, I think, is very important. So for me, I've just found it's, it's, it really comes down to people, passion, and perseverance, what I call the three Ps. Great. And so in running your own business, um, what's the biggest mistake you made and how would you tell people to avoid that? What did you learn from it? Well, probably the biggest mistake relates to, to people. I think we did a pretty good job in the early days of AOL when we were just dozens of people and everybody was aligned around that interest. And I think also did a you know, pretty good job when we started in the ramp up mode and went from dozens of people to hundreds of people. But it got much harder when we were in the speed up mode going from hundreds of employees to thousands of employees, particularly because it happened in a relatively compressed you know, period of time. And in retrospect, I don't think we were careful enough in terms of building you know, or preserving the culture uh, as we attracted more and more people. Okay, and um, what is the hardest stage you think it is for the company? Is it that building the team phase or is it you know when you're growing? I think it varies. I think it it's kind of, partly depends on the entrepreneur, partly depends on the company, partly depends on the sector. I think it's hard to generalize. I think probably the, the, the scariest moment is when you basically say you're going to leave what you're doing you know, some comfort zone. And so that that's probably the biggest kind of leap of faith. If you then start getting some traction and you're starting to, you know, from maybe it's you to a handful of people and maybe it's 10 or 20 you know, people, you know, that's you're starting to get a little bit of confidence that, that you have an interesting idea. Right, and I have to ask a question from the audience and that is, is Scott Case related to you? Is he your brother? No, no, Scott is a terrific guy. He's the CEO of the Startup America Partnership. He was a co-founder of Priceline, a great technology internet company, and also for five years was CEO of Larry Nomura, a very successful public private partnership. I remember having a breakfast recently and somebody said, oh, I really enjoyed meeting your brother and realized that he didn't, hadn't met my brother. But. Great. And to wrap up, what inspirational story or what inspirational thing can you say to entrepreneurs out there who are just getting off the ground? Go for it. People having the confidence to take that risk really is the important first step. And, and it's always going to be hard. You're always going to be worried you're going to be failing, which creates some you know, insecurity around your job and finances, particularly if you have a, a family and, and just in risk of embarrassment. If you, you know, try something and fail, it's always you know, it's disappointing. And that's what makes great nations. The reason America is the you know, economic power in the, in, the, in the world is because of entrepreneurs who have created great companies. It was Thomas Edison who helped create General Electric or Henry Ford that really Really made the the you know the car business a you know, significant uh, global business, or more recently Hewlett and Packard and Steve Jobs and others here in, in Silicon Valley. These are the entrepreneurs who are willing to take the risk to build great companies, build great industries, and build a great nation. And our challenge now is to build on that legacy and take it forward to continue to make sure America really is the the epicenter of innovation and entrepreneurship in an increasingly competitive world. Fantastic. Well, Steve, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thank you.